Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Imani. I'm a beauty, fashion, and lifestyle YouTuber. Today, I am so excited to be coming to you with my makeup, but also talking to you about an SLP topic that you guys have really been asking me about and I can't wait to share. A lot of you guys have asked me about what it's like to be working while you're in graduate school and especially in the NYU program that I am in. It is completely online so it's a completely different experience. Um, I want to share with you guys my personal thoughts, my personal experience um, as someone who worked full-time, part-time. I've kind of done it all. Um, so yeah, we'll get into it later, but if you guys want to see this video, then continue to watch. I can't wait to talk with you, to sit with you, to chat with you, and yeah, let's go into the video. Alright guys, so again, this is going to be like super laid back. I'm just doing my makeup and talking to you at the same damn time. Okay, that's really it. Yeah, I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. I'm using the Benefit 2 Hour Brow Setter. Can we get it soon? All right, I'm gonna start by putting on my foundation. Today I'm using the Minted Foundation. This is brand new and I use the shade M10. It is perfect for me. So I have a tester right now. So I'm just gonna dip my finger in and put it on. So I'll get right into it. Um, this topic is about what it's like to be working while you're in graduate school for speech pathology and again I can only talk about my experience because I am in the online program at NYU so um, it may be the same or the, or different than someone who's in a in-person program so for me um, I started off there's been kind of waves of my work experience I started off um, working full-time um, and at the time I was working at a speech clinic so I had been hired as a secretary which gave me tons of exposure as far as seeing SLPs seeing what they do seeing the process of intakes and just meeting people who actually go to therapy it was a really good experience so I started off working full-time and I liked the job a lot um, I started doing a little bit more than actually what the job had called for originally and I didn't really get a promotion but I started working like side by side with um, one of the like higher ups in the company um, and it was really cool I was like the assistant to the executive assistant and I really enjoyed it it almost made me think about like reconsidering what I was doing in speech pathology because I was like I enjoy this job but that's besides the point. Um, I had just gotten into graduate school, so it was difficult. At the time, I was working full time, and I didn't really know what the commitment in graduate school would be like. So, with that being said, I think I did bite off a lot more than I could chew, if I'm being honest. Um, and it just became really hard to juggle doing everything. I think. Most of the reason why was because at the time I was taking a lot of the core classes for speech before I was in the actual grad program. So I entered in with like really no, um, very little speech background because I didn't major in speech. So I had to take a lot of those like anatomy and physiology. I think that was like the first course I took. Uh, what else did I take? Like neurogenic speech disorders. Um an aphasia course, things like that. And I just had a few of those courses, but it was like the first thing that I did. And it was like hard out the gate, you know? So balancing both, I remember being like, okay, this is like a lot. So I ended up actually going down in the amount of hours that I could work at my job. And just like any job, and especially one that you're doing good at, I think that they were a little disappointed that um, I wasn't able to be there the way I was. So they like demoted me back to a receptionist position. Um, so that wasn't great. But I still took what I could get and 
you know, I was making money and that was what was important. So I did it. I did what I had to do and came in every day and did my few hours and left. And then I would go to class or I would study or I would do whatever I had to do. It worked for that time, but there did become a point at that job where things just got like hairy. I felt like they were kind of treating me differently and I ended up leaving um, that job. Okay, foundation is done. Now I'm going in with my Born This Way multi sculpting Concealer. So back to what I was saying. So at that time I was thinking about possibly going back to my previous job, working full time. I was like, I can really handle this. I think I can do it. I'm smart, I'm capable, let's just go for it. And I did, I ended up going back to my full-time job, which was um, teaching. And it worked out because um, instead of being like a classroom teacher at, my, at the school that I was at previously, I went in being a intervention teacher. And that was fun because I got to work with groups I would pull kids out. I didn't have to manage an entire classroom. So the actual responsibilities was really different and I thought that it would be really manageable. So I went back to work and I moved and I did all this in the middle of being in graduate school. And this was probably one of the smoothest years. I'm not gonna say it was easy because um, it wasn't, but working full time and going to graduate school at that time just kind of worked. It was really good because for me, having a job gave me like a certain window of time that I needed to get things done. I knew when my breaks were, I knew when I would have kids, when I wouldn't have kids. And all the times that I was free, I was doing schoolwork. Like you would never catch me not at my desk. So it helped me to like sit down, get things done in a short amount of time. And um, it was honestly like one of my most productive years because I was able to do that. And my job worked with me. So I was even, I had a class that was um, like in the morning time. And my job allowed me to go to my morning class. I'll never forget, it was voice, voice disorders. And we would have like projects or we would have to try different voice like exercises. So I'd be behind my desk in the classroom with kids and I'd be like, like, like doing all these crazy things. It was like really funny, but really, really good um, for that reason. So that's a little tip. If you're someone who needs to have that structure of like, I work, during this time, this time, this time, and I'm off this time, this time, then maybe working while you're in graduate school would work for you. So that was a great year, but after that, I decided that um, I knew that my commitments would be getting more and more and more intense and more involved. So um, it was starting to become the time where my practicum started, which if you don't know what that is, that's where you start uh, working in the field. And it starts off slow, but it does become more of a time commitment. So I decided to go back to my job as a part-time teacher. And that's what I did this year. I started clinicals this year. So I would go to my placement, which was at a different school. It was like a whole different experience at this point. So by the way, I have the Maybelline loose setting powder that I'm putting on the back of my hand. I love this stuff. Literally, it's so good. And I have it on this little concealer brush and I'm just like dusting it under my eyes. Yes, that's it. Oh, by the way, um, makeup tip. Someone, I forgot who I was watching. I forgot who I was watching, but someone told me, try to make your skin like as oily and greasy and whatever as possible if you have dry skin and then go ahead and add on your powders add on your creams because it lets that like glow come from within rather than having a dry face and then adding all that cakey stuff it's just not good so that's what i do now cream contour powder we're gonna do powder today <sighs> okay i'm gonna start to contour now using my elf finishing powder If you haven't seen my video about what I've learned so far at my clinical placement, 
um, it is there and I can even link it here but go check it out because it may help you get some insight into what it's like but um, yeah I started that and it was perfect timing because I needed to have a certain amount of hours in order to grad in order to pass the class and if I didn't work part-time I would not be able to get hours in because mind you it's a school so the day ends at like 2 45 and I needed to see enough patients to get 75 direct contact hours that's a lot <laughs> okay so it ended up really working out but um, it was, you know, a really hard thing to do to go from a job that you loved and worked full time at and loved the kids and like to go from being that regular teacher to being a teacher who's there and like just there literally for two hours and then you gotta go and your mind is just in a million places. I have to say it was literally one of the hardest times for me because I am the kind of person, and I'm sure you guys are too, you wanna give your all to what you do. And that's something that it's really hard being, um, and again, this is my experience as an online graduate student, you kinda of do, it's a good thing because you have the opportunity to be in a bunch of different places at once. But then again, it is challenging because if you're someone who really likes to put a thousand percent into everything you do, you physically cannot or you will like topple over in exhaustion because it's just not possible so it's something to keep in mind uh, I'm just gonna take my big brush now and just try to blend I'm picking up my benefit precisely my brow eyebrow pencil I have it in the color 5 this pencil is pretty bomb I do like it I switch between this one and my BH cosmetics one because the BH Cosmetics one is Bay, and I just brought like 12 of them because they had a sale, so. I actually posted that on Instagram, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should because I really share a mix of makeup stuff, a mix of therapy stuff, grad school stuff. I try to just share everything. Oh, the announcement. Okay, so here's where the announcement comes in. Um, I decided about it's been about a month now. About a month ago, I decided to quit my job. And this was, I can, I'm smiling now and I'm so blessed and grateful that I can smile now because it was literally one of the hardest decisions that I've ever made in my life. I have never not worked. I've worked since I was 15 years old in a concession stand at a baseball plaza. It was my first job. I wasn't even like legal. So I've always worked. I value working. I just, I love working. I love having my own money. I love being self-sufficient. I love being independent. I love being responsible for something. It gives me purpose. But there does come a point at any time in your graduate school experience where you may need to not work. And I've heard this advice from so many people. Um, a lot of people have told me, like, why are you working now? How are you working now? Like, how are you doing it all? And I pushed through anyway. I did what I could. Um, and I still got good grades and I'm still, you know, in good standing in my program, which I thank God for, but it hasn't been easy. Um, I think that I definitely made the decision at the right time, but it was really, really hard. And um, if you have seen one of my last videos, I talked about how stressed I was and that I have an announcement to make. This is the announcement. This is what it is. I quit my job. So... Yes, um, that is the last installment in this whole working thing. Um, basically, like I mentioned before, it had gotten really, really difficult to make sure that I was being the best that I could be at my job and also being the best that I could be at my placement and getting my placement hours done because if you don't finish those placement hours in the semester, you have to take the class over. And for me, it is not an option to extend this program any more than it already is. 
um, and if you're in graduate school or even if you're in undergrad, you know what I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> it's not an option to stay any longer than you have to stay, you know? And not if you can help it. Of course, there are reasons why you may have to, you know, be somewhere a little bit longer. And that's just life. Life happens. But if you can help it, you you're gonna try to help it so that's what i did and um it had gotten to a point where i was only able to be at my placement from the hours of like 11 to 2 and as far as direct contact hours and doing therapy therapy is every 30 minute is in 30 minute increments so i would see like four kids a day i i hope i'm making sense here Basically, the amount, how they count your hours, it doesn't go by the amount of hours that you're at your placement. You could be at your placement from 9 in the morning to 9 at night. But if you were only seeing kids for two hours because you've seen four kids, then you only get two hours for that day. So it is imperative that you are seeing more people and getting those direct contact hours so that you can graduate because um, if not it's a waste of time so that's what happened with me I had gotten up to a point where it was like oh shoot <laughs> like the semester is almost over and Imani you have a lot more hours that you need to get in so I had to make that decision um, and I think that I made the right one, even though it was really hard, so. Okay, my eyebrows are done. I'm gonna go ahead and set them again. I do this um, just as a final little step. I like to make sure that they are in place. And I always just brush up. Okay, I don't know what I wanna do with my eyes today. Look at these eyebrows. They look so bushy and pretty. That's exactly what I want because my eyebrows are the exact opposite. Um, I'm picking up this Dose of Colors palette, Frankation. Purple, we're gonna make it like really simple. I just need this as a transition first, so. It wouldn't be me if I didn't leave you guys with some advice and just some insight on things that I would do differently if I could do it all over again. Um, I think that finances is such a huge part of going to graduate school. And I talked about this in one of my other videos about how to pay for college. But just that financial literacy is just so important. And it's something that I want to definitely work on for this year and just for life. Whoa, that looks pretty. Because I think if I did, I would have really set myself up a little bit better for graduate school to make sure that um, I wouldn't have to work as much as I did. And I also think I would definitely reach out to more people and get some insight. And the thing was, like, I did that. My issue was I didn't listen. So a lot of people told me, like, there's going to be a point where you have to... Uh, you know stop working and a lot of people told me they didn't work and I got a lot of advice but I just didn't listen to it I was like no I can do it I can do it I can do it and if I could do it all over again I would definitely not only get advice but listen to the advice that's given to me and not be so freaking hard-headed I'm just swirling this color around now, like blending the two colors together. Not too much, but I do want it to look like buffed out and pretty. All right, I'm gonna take this baby brush here and go back into the Dose of Colors palette. There's a little bit of a darker brown color that I'm gonna put in the corner, just right there. All right, and now I'm taking the big fluffy brush no, I'm not. I'm taking the little fluffy brush and just gonna swirl. All right, now I'm taking the big brush and I wanna get those edges and blend them out. Okay, I picked up a really small flat brush and I'm gonna go into September, the purple color, 
and try to just put a little bit under my eye. We'll see how this comes out. It doesn't usually come out great, but I think I need more purple, so. Now that my eyes are basically finished, I'm gonna go ahead and put some mascara on. I'm using that same Wet n Wild eyeliner on my lips and I'm just gonna put it like to contour my lips. All right, and now I'm using the ColourPop BFF3 pencil. This is actually a lip pencil and it's bomb, y'all. Now I'm taking my MAC World Lipstick and I'm just gonna put it in the middle of my lips. Make them look a little plump. This lip gloss is like drugstore lip gloss. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight to this look and then we'll be done. My camera is already saying it's gonna die, so. I'm using the Mirame Highlight from Dose of Colors. I also totally forgot to contour my nose, so I'm gonna do that really quickly. Okay, we are done. I didn't want to end this video without telling you to always do what's best for you, to always put aside what other people think because they are not living your life, you are living your life, and it's important that you do what's best for you. So that's something that I learned and I'm still learning and I wouldn't feel right if I didn't pass that on to you guys. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope that it helped you in your grad school journey or if you're not in grad school yet, going forward in your grad school journey. Um, please leave me a comment down below, like this video, and subscribe. Send this to a friend who may be going through something similar and let me know what you guys would like to see in my upcoming videos down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.